What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another video. So guys, today Rockstar released quite a lot of things for GT Online. Of course, I'm gonna cover everything, but one of the new things is the Tundra Panther or the Tundra Panther. And today we're gonna customize it, we're gonna check it out. So first of all, you can buy it on Legendary Motorsports for 2.17 million. It's a sports car, so that means it's kind of expensive. But to be honest, it's already looking good. So for the front and rear bumpers, we're kind of seeing the regular options that we're always seeing. You do have some nice ones where you can actually add some touches with the secondary color. So if you want to do that, it's definitely possible with this car. I didn't do it. I just did the secondary and primary color the same because I like this more. But if you want to do like a combination, it's definitely possible with this car. For the grill, we have some pretty cool options, things that we haven't seen before, so that's always a good thing when customizing cars. There is this one grill that kind of looks like a net or a beehive, however you want to say it. For the hood, you also have the option with the same kind of pattern, so then you can make kind of a combination, and I have to say, it actually looks pretty good. On the hood, you can also see that there was like a small yellow circle. I don't know what this is exactly, but it also gives the hood a nice touch. For the headlights, I picked the red colored headlights because I'm going to keep the car red and it actually looked kind of good. For the liveries, we have some French flag liveries, then we also have some camo liveries. I just went with the simple one that says Tundra on the side. The three colors of the French flag could also be nice, but with a red car it didn't look that nice, so I just went with the Tundra. The louvers, also some options that you can pick from, pretty basic I would say though. Then for the color, so the respray, I went with formula red, I added a ice white pearlescent, and then for the secondary color, I also went with formula red, so just the same color. For the roof, you can have a sunroof, which I don't really like on this car, to be honest, so I just went with the GT roof. It's basic, but it does add a nice touch to the car. Then for the skirts, we have the regular options that we see all the time but we have a lot of options that you can pick from so that's always a good thing then we have the sun strip in black the secondary color or in carbon then the spoilers um kind of basic spoilers but they do really look good on this car so i went with a larger one this time normally i don't do this often anymore but on this car it just felt right it looked good and the result was actually pretty nice i was uh, surprised because i wasn't expecting it with this car now for the wheels, I went with track, then I went with split star, and of course the color black, just like I always do it, it just looks very good. And then also the yellow chapelle leathers, I don't know why I did yellow this time, but it just felt right. And the result, like I said, is actually pretty nice. Let me know in the comments how you guys customize this car, let me know what you think about it. 2.1 mil is kind of expensive, but I have to say it's definitely a nice looking car. So guys, that was it. Make sure to like, subscribe. Like I said, there is more content that Rockstar released today. So videos about this coming soon. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out the Discord in the description. And peace out, you guys.